I really want to start this video, but I really need a pee. And the laziest guy on the crew has been in that porta potty for like 15 minutes. I called him out on it, and hopefully he heard me too. Come on, get out of there already. What's going on everybody? It's me, Jason from Buy, Build, Sell, your Los Angeles contractor and developer. And today we are at our Bradley project, a five lot subdivision that we're doing out in Silmar. I'm super excited about this project. It's been something I've wanted to do for a long time, just build multiple homes on a single lot. So this is definitely a taste of where I can go from here. Stick around in this episode because today you're gonna see how we do the surveying, how we do the grading, how we do the forms, the rebar, the plumbing, all that stuff's getting done and you can see five houses being built in one shot. And of course, stick around, subscribe to the channel because we're gonna see the rest of this build happen and I can't wait to show it to you. So we're here on Bradley right now. Now it's such a big lot. We'll, we'll get past the generator. I'll talk about the power. As you can see, two houses right up here. Two ADUs we're walking right past. We've got an underage helper on the field. And then we have grading complete right here. So here's what we have. To recap on this project, we have five lots that we're working with. Okay. We have house one that's already existing. We have an ADU that we're building right behind it. We have lot one, lot two, right up here. Lot uh, four, and then lot five. So one, two, three, four, five. Five lots, five ADUs. And right now what we're seeing, we have two slabs, and two ADUs, fully dug, fully excavated, fully formed. And we have one ADU that's been done on the, the existing house already as well. It already has the, the footing is uh, excavated and formed. So we'll go through all those in detail. The reason we have a generator on site is because it's actually really hard to get a temporary power pole permit on this sort of lot. There's no, they, they, they yet to have a description available online for us to pull that uh, permit. So we actually have to go to the city directly and get that permit for them. And because of COVID, it's just made it a little bit more difficult. But right now we have our temporary power on the generator. We'll be filling that up every day with gas to get through uh, this stage of it. But once we get to framing, we're really gonna need to make sure that we have a, a temporary power pole on site because it's multiple tools, multiple guys, everyone's pushing. And we're gonna try to get one for each and every job site so that way we're not sharing off of uh, each other. It'll make the process going a little bit easier. There's a lot to see here. Let's go check it out. So the last time I was here, I fell on a big pile of dirt. All that pile of dirt's pretty much gone. And you can see that the lots actually taper down. So you have, this as the highest level, then it steps down into the middle, then it steps down further towards the end and it keeps on going down, so it's dropping down. So we're gonna have multiple grades here that we're dealing with on each individual lot. And then we're gonna be setting up uh, retaining walls and, and uh, separations between each lot after we do all the slabs. So that way we can uh, separate the properties appropriately. Pretty cool project. You guys remember what these are, right? These are our stakes that mark out a lot of the information that we need. Come on down here. So basically, once we've completed grading, we get our surveyor out here to mark out a lot of particular information that we need to find. So on a property like this, because it's so big, we actually need to mark out more than just the four corners of, of uh, an envelope of our slab. We're actually marking out the four corners of our building, the ADU four corners, the property lines, where we might be putting planter beds. Because it's so massive, it's not like you can kind of just throw a tape onto a wall and measure it out five feet and find what you're looking for. The, the street's not exactly straight. The walls aren't exactly where they need to be. You can see right here even, 
that you have existing failure of the neighbor's wall. But basically not everything is gonna be where we're expecting it to be. Especially on these big developments, it can get really hard to kind of pinpoint something like, hey, you know, northeast side of the, of the property, let's measure 15 feet out from here and there. It gets really difficult to find that northeast spot. Where exactly is the property actually starting? Where does the street start? All of those sort of elements. So we really go the extra mile and place multiple pins so we know exactly where we're supposed to be and where we're supposed to be shooting from. Now, again, we're dealing with five lots here. So we already have the first two houses, the footings, excavation, forms, all done. The rebar is in. We're gonna get an inspection on Thursday. We have the ADUs for those two properties done. Plus we have the ADU for the already existing home. That's three houses, three ADUs, okay? Again, one of those houses already built. We have a street entrance right here that we've graded down. We actually can see an existing wall that's already there. So we're gonna be pulling a driveway up to this whole section here. Big house right here, stepping up to an ADU on that side. And then one massive lot down there, which actually steps down to the ADU on the other side. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And it takes, it takes a team to really execute this thing appropriately. So thankfully we have that team in place and thankfully we are here to execute this project. And it's really exciting. This is, uh, has been one of my dreams to produce multi-house subdivision of some sort. So this is the start of something bigger for me. So I'm excited about it. So this is actually a really unique project for us because we're being forced to kind of step out of our comfort zone. Normally I'm building luxury high-end homes, uh, you know, trying to create luxury and standard of living uh, to kind of become one. Uh, on this one, we're really being forced to watch our budget here. So I'm actually taking the approach of designing and building from that apartment level grade, which is not necessarily, I mean, by no means are the apartments ugly or uh, done poorly, but the quality of products that we're putting in the homes are price friendly range. So we're not using higher end fixtures, we're using pretty easily, easily accessible fixtures, easily accessible tiles, easily accessible flooring, and, and not doing as high end on the, the wood finishes. So cabinetry is gonna be prefabricated instead of custom. But I'm excited to kind of put it all together and you know, get something out of it that I think we'll be really excited about seeing. It's so freaking hot, I'm wearing steel toed boots and my feet are literally cooking. It, it is so freaking hot. All right guys, so this is a top con. Now what this does is essentially, we're setting a level. Now, as long as this piece is level, it's gonna get the same elevation across the whole entire thing. And all we gotta do is bring this down. And once it beeps right there, that's when we know that it's exactly where it's supposed to be. So what we'll do is we'll set that point And then we know that if I take this and I bring it to all pieces of the whole entire form, it's all gonna set right exactly where it needs to be. Nope. Right? And once we can do that across the whole entire house, you know, the forms have been set appropriately, set level, and we can, we can uh, continue going forward. We know that we're in the right place and <laughs> the right elevation. So that's really important to get going on that. Let me show you guys a little bit more about the forms and about the rebar. On this project, we have our form. That's gonna be an exposed part of the slab. So we're, we have about probably 10 inches of exposed slab that's gonna be out. And that's gonna give us our ability to backfill, put all the irrigation, put all, all that stuff that comes up against the house and get all that stuff done. So we're gonna be bringing the slab, we're gonna be bringing the dirt up essentially on this. We have our footings in. So we have our bottom and our middle, three bars in. We have all of our risers that are all gonna be bent in and then formed for the slab. So these, are gonna these are the pieces that are gonna connect the footing to the slab. So regardless of how many times you do a pour on this thing, whether it's one pour or two, you still have a full continuous structural element to the whole entire slab. Now, obviously, before we start backfilling the slab, we have to make sure that we get all of our underground mechanicals done. That means our plumbing and electrical. Whatever it is, wherever we have a bathroom, we're gonna be running our plumbing through these trenches. 
and then out into the house, connecting everything together. So we'll be able to connect the plumbing. Now, obviously, when you're doing an ADU, you have separate lines that connect the plumbing to the uh, sewer. So the plumbing connection will still be separated from the main house. But we're still going to run everything down this way. So we're going through the same property and not trying to crisscross or go through anything else. On this property right here, we have a string line set for elevation. So we can also run our plumbing and have everything set for the plumbing and electrical as well. All of this should be ready for inspection by Thursday. And then we can pour all of this on Friday. We can get started on all of the foundations down at the bottom and have a really nice smooth transition between each, each of the building processes where we can have the teams really move fluidly between all of the properties. I'm excited about this. What's going on everybody? If I can get your attention for just one second, please of course go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and of course, put a comment down below. Let me know you're here. I'd love to see you. See you on the next video. Finally, a bathroom. Oh! Oh! <gasps>